Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the MFJ994B 600 watt IntelliTuner. We'll get started right after this. The 994B automatically matches antennas from 12 to 800 ohms impedance, handles 600 watts BEP, 600 watts CW, 500 watts constant carrier. Tunes in less than 15 seconds, usually less than 5. Has over 10,000 non-volatile memories for tuner settings. Four memory banks with over 2,500 memories per bank. SO239 coax fed antenna connectors, a connector for random wires or single wire antennas, optional remote control, your power to light up the meter, and this is for radio interface. And they do sell those on the MFJ website and your ground. On the front, you have your SWR power meter. And then you have these seven buttons right here. The C up and C down buttons are used to manually increase or decrease the capacitance. The L up and L down buttons are used to manually increase or decrease the inductance. The auto button is used to select automatic or semi-automatic tuning mode. The tune button has several different functions. You press the tune button quickly to bypass the tuner. Press and hold for about a half to two seconds to start the automatic tuning process. Press and hold for between two and eight seconds to toggle the sticky tune on and off. Press and hold for more than eight seconds to toggle the sticky tune power on, reset POR on and off. Let's take a look inside this thing and see what makes it tick. Okay, go ahead and remove the 12 screws, four from each side and four from the top. Now, per the manual, the relay electrical life is 100,000 operations. The relay mechanical life, 10 million operations. The memory endurance, 1 million write cycles. And memory data retention is over 200 years. With these toroids, the relays, and the capacitors, these three working in concert is what gives you your match. I'm going to put this together and we'll hook it up to a radio and see how well it works. These are the interfaces. This is the MFJ5124 for ICOM radios and the 5124Y for the Yaesu radios. Now the way the interface cable works, plug the back of this into the ICOM, in this case it'll be the IC7300. This goes into the 12 volt power, and this is for the radio interface plug. Now if you want to hook up a Yesu, you're going to take the box, plug the stereo jack in there, this red and black power cable into here. The red and black power cable that came with the tuner goes here. This plug in here, and then this 8-pin plug goes into the back of your Yesu radio. In this case, it'll be a 991 Alpha. Once you get the interface cable all hooked up, your antenna hooked up, go ahead and power it on. Then you're going to push tuner, and it automatically goes and starts tuning. WJ6F testing. And you see we had no movement. This thing tunes that fast, right, to a one-to-one. -one. Now, if you've been using it for a long time, you switch radios, or you get an amplifier, you want to just make sure that you're starting with a clean slate. Power down. And this will teach you how to reset everything. Push and hold CD, C down, L down, and tune. Push power. Brings the needles, I know you can't really see them very well on here, and it brings the needles to halfway on the scale, and then push C up. Needles will go straight up and down, and when they're done, they'll go back down to the bottom, and then you can start using it. Turn on your tuner, and you're ready to go. It automatically retunes. And that's all there is to it for the MFJ994 Bravo. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. 
and press the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.